How you doing, man? I'm all right. How's it feel, man? Huh? Number one album in the country. Feel good? Feel good. Feel great. I know people in New Orleans must be just hollering. Oh, you know we represent being able to come from the ghetto and do something like this is a big inspiration to everybody in New Orleans and everybody in the world. And uh, that's basically what I'm trying to do. Uh, what you gonna do for us tonight? You know, I'm gonna kick it with you and uh, I'm gonna do a song. Excuse Probably gonna me. do I Miss My Own. Excuse me, you who? Uh, Mr. P? Uh, Yo, it's, uh, it's Master P. Yeah. This is the network executive. He's always coming to pick a plane about something. Yes, Master. Okay. Ah. Uh. I'm excusing this time, Chris. It's okay. Leave well, me it's not true that I'm always coming up here complaining. I, I could be here to give some helpful advice. Okay. Well, what are you, what are you here for, sir? I have a complaint. Uh, there's some problems with some of, uh, of uh, Mr. P's lyrics. Master P. Master P. Yes. Yo, Chris. What are you talking about? Yeah, what, what, are, you, what well, are you talking about exactly? P. I'll give you an example. In the song you say, and I quote, like some alcoholic brothers quick to test yo nuts. Yeah, okay. What? This, this is objectionable. No, well, see, what he's trying to say is, you know, you know what, you wouldn't understand. You, you probably wouldn't understand. You would. Well, you'd be surprised. Orleans, you, you know, no. I work on this show, I've been watching it for some time, and I'm quite bout it, bout it. <laughs> like in the beginning, you mentioned Mr. Rogers. What's wrong with that? Well, he's a very close friend of mine. As a matter of fact, he bought me these shoes. I see what type of friend he is. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't buying nothing like this, though. Huh? Woo! There you go. <laughs> Those are sharp. Yeah. Well, what, what, what do you want to do for man, us, man? He, you got, he got to let him feel the lyrics. You know, you got to represent. Like when I say I represent Third Wall Kelly, oh, that's my hood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to bring my boy Mystical out to give him some uh, No Limit Soldier. Get Mystical. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like that? Oh, well, okay. It's gonna, the sun's gonna stay in my eyes if I put it backwards. Oh, no, you straight. Oh. Check it out. All right. Yeah. That's nice. Ooh, no, right. How about Pants this? Together. Wait. Like, whoop, no. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yo, Chris. Right, you look much better, huh? Chris. Give him a mic. Let's set it off. You want him to rap? Yeah, I want him to do his thing, all. Okay. Uh, here you go. Uh, what? Me, me? Rap? Yeah, go on and give it a shot. Yeah, you look. All right. He looked like a No Limit Soldier, so let him do his thing. Right. Well, I did go to the Lipton Academy for boys. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to need a beat. So, can you give me a flat? Happy business, man. for us, right? You promise? I'm sorry about this, all right? For sure, for Thank sure, you. Man. Take it easy, all right. Mr. UPN Exec, see you later. Represent, Up next, baby. One of the stars of In the House, Alfonso Rebell. <laughs> Yo, man, your album debuted at number one? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people have never heard of you. Introduce yourself to these people. Well, I mean, everybody know me as Master P, and I, I started from the underground, and uh, Started small and worked my way to the top, and I think that's what life is about. You gotta earn your way to the top. And, and uh, most, I think the problem is most people and most rappers these days they wanted the easy way. They wanted to come up with a gimmick. You see, I grew up in the projects, and my my biggest thing was in New Orleans, uh, New Orleans, Third Wall, Cali. Yo, represent, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's my people over there. I, I got see. Mr. Servone in the house and the whole No Limit Soldiers, you know. <laughs> Mystical up there too? Mystical. Oh man, Big Buys, the whole No Limit family mix, but uh, we definitely got to represent and show the world that uh, you can't judge every book by its cover. Just because I came from the ghetto, don't treat me like I'm just uh, uh, the enemy. 
you know, sure. uh, and I think that's what life is about. You got to give everybody a chance. And to me, the ghetto, growing up in the Calio Projects was just a place where I was raised at. You know, my parents was poor. I come from a big family. How many? Uh, well, I had five brothers. All together was me. It was four of us and one sister. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, it was rough. Mm -hmm. And what happened was my mom moved to California and my dad stayed in New Orleans and I got a chance to see both worlds. But then I had to stay in a project with my grandmother and she had 12 kids. Wow, so you've always been around a lot. Three bedroom apartment with 12 kids, man. You know, you got. I hope it was some bunk beds. Oh, there. man, it, it was some flows. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you, you, I mean, I'm going to the well, front. People don't realize is in two years he's had 14 CDs. He shipped 250,000, 1 million, 500,000, 400,000, 400,000, 300,000, 500,000, 2 million, 400,000, 1 million, 500,000, and 500,000 CDs shipped. All done underground. All done underground. Well, I mean, that just goes to show you that uh, you just got to keep your head up and keep strong and never give up. Because when right. you're about to give up, that might be when you're just about to make it. Now, you talk about a lot of... A lot of real issues in your, in your music, yeah. you know, a lot of violence that's out there in the streets. Well, what I plan to do is, uh, like I said, it ain't no East or West Coast wars with me because I'm from down South. I lived in California and uh, my whole life is about reality. I've right. seen a lot of death, a right. lot of murders, I mean, a lot of kids starving. Growing up in the project and the things that I've seen around me, I'm like, man, I got to do something to change this for me and my family. And if I get me and my family out here, I get some of my friends up. If I get some of my friends out, then I get some of the neighborhood people out and put them to work, and that's what No Limit is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, you, the things you talk about are so true, and a lot of things that Tupac and Biggie as well talked about were very true. Do well, you, I'm gonna do you fear for your life? Or, uh, let me tell you something. If you never did anybody, nothing, you don't fear for your life. If something happened to you, it's just jealousy. Right. For me, you know, this my life, this my business. You, you're gonna be afraid to come outside? You gotta choose your job, and my job is to make music and show the world that you can keep it real and still sell records. And I'm not gonna stay inside for nobody. I'm gonna come out and do what I gotta do, because I... Yeah. 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 Yeah.